And so, for example, when we are going to express the following numbers in scientific notation, engineering notation, using the appropriate SI prefix and using the appropriate symbol. And so we're going to have four different ways of saying these numbers uh, by the time we are done with this example for each of these numbers. And I've gone ahead and prepared my table uh, over here so that I can refer back to this. And remember, as it says there, if you feel like you have the need to tattoo this to the inside of your forearm, that would be a fantastic thing to do. Just kidding. So uh, starting off here, we've got 94 million miles. And just a quick refresher on scientific notation. For scientific notation, we would have our decimal point here, and we would move it to the left until we only have one number in front of the decimal. We move in counts of one, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So this would be 9.4 times 10 to the seventh miles. And engineering notation is going to be very similar, except for uh, that with engineering notation, we can only move in jumps of three. And you'll notice over here in our table that we have 10 to the third, 10 to the sixth, 10 to the ninth, 10 to the twelfth. 10 to the seventh is not there because seven is not a multiple of three. And so every time we move our decimal place, it's going to move three places. And so very similar to scientific notation, we're going to start there. We move three to the left. That's one set of three. We move another three to the left. That's another set of three. That makes six total. And there aren't three more numbers to the left of my current decimal placement, so I stop. And we are going to end up with 94 times 10 to the sixth miles. You can see 10 to the sixth right here matches with million. That's a comfortable thing for us. The SI prefix is going to be mega, and the symbol is a capital M. So for the SI prefix, we are going to have mega miles. And for the symbol, recognize that it is a capital M, not a lowercase m like milli. And so capital M miles for our symbol representation of this. And so again, four different ways to show the same number. Um, yeah. Again, remembering that with engineering notation, we can only move in jumps of three, and our exponent is always going to be a multiple of three. In our case, three, six, nine, or 12, either positive or negative, depending on the size of what we're talking about. So for part B, uh, scientific notation, again, we would start at the decimal and move one, two, three, four spots. So we would have um, 9.2 times 10 to the negative 4 meters because, and negative because the decimal, uh, it, this number is less than 1. For engineering notation, we would have jumps of 3 again. So we're going to make a jump of 3. And I don't have any numbers in front of the decimal. So I need to make a jump of 3 again. And I only jumped 2, so I've got to add a 0 there at the end to make it work. And so this is going to give me 920 times 10 to the negative 6 meters. And remembering that we are dealing with numbers that are less than 1,000 or greater than 1 1,000th. And so 920 fits that. So we're going to say 920 to the negative 6 meters. Or using the SI uh, prefix, uh, if I come over to negative 6 here, I see that I've got micro, and this is the symbol for micro right there. So it's a U with a long tail on this end. Oops, that's the symbol, not the SI notation. SI notation is micro meters. And so for micro, uh, in terms of the symbol, we are going to have the U with the long tail on that side, followed by meters micrometers. And then lastly, and my most favorite, this go, takes us back to the opening segment with Doc and Marty at the beginning. Uh, we are going to have this number of watts. And so in scientific notation, this would end up being 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So 1.21 
times 10 to the ninth watts. In engineering notation, uh, we would have jumps of three again, so three, three, and I still don't have a number less than 1,000 in front, so three again. 1.21 1 times 10 to the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 times 10 to the ninth. This happens to be the same as it is in scientific notation because 9 is a multiple of 3. The SI prefix for this, uh, if we come over here, we've got an exponent of 9 that is going to be a giga. And so we get 1.21 gigawatts. I think Doc would be proud. And lastly, the symbol for Jiga is a capital G. And so we would end up with capital G watts. That's it for this example. I hope this is helpful.